Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you uh, today for a movie review this afternoon before I go to work. And sorry about the background noise. My nephew is screaming his lungs out because he's throwing a fit. Um, this is for the Blue Beetle 2023 film that I got a chance to watch myself. Uh, to see what I was going to think of it for this two hour and seven minute movie. So I'm going to discuss what I watched for the Blue Beetle film. The two hours and seven minutes of a film. There are post credit scenes at the end of it. I think only two. Uh, the last one's not really that important. The first one is. But basically uh, I'm going to discuss what I watched for this movie. And let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this movie review now. Basically... Um, the main character, uh, ha Jaime, or however you pronounce his name or whatever, um, believe is Jaime or something like that. Um, yeah, um, his character is the Blue Beetle. He, um, uh, is a normal 20-something-year-old guy who's trying to find his purpose in life and... He's mostly looking for a job because he finds out his house is going to be foreclosed on and his shop was closed, like closed on. So basically uh, the film mostly introduces the scarab thing um, at the beginning of the film where this Victoria Cord or whatever is trying to find the artifact and use its power for evil mostly so she's pretty much the bad guy honestly the bad guys were okay i wouldn't say they were uh well, they were just messed up people trying to steal uh jaime's uh power or jane it sounds like jaime or whatever uh basically uh i'm not sure i might be pronouncing it wrong i don't know jaime reyes uh, so basically, his he eventually gets the scarab, he has to guard it with his life, and then he opens it, and he becomes the Blue Beetle. It goes inside his body, and it just basically is part of him now. And he syncs with Koji, or whatever her name is, uh, Kaiji, or something. Uh, so basically... Uh, the film was good. Um, pretty much he has to fight the OMAC uh, guy or whatever that's basically with Victoria uh, Cord or whatever. But Jenny Cord is not like Victoria Cord, so she's kind of a good uh, Cord family member. And eventually they show an end credit scene, which I don't want to spoil because you got to see for yourself when you watch the movie yourself but this was a good film i wouldn't say it was my favorite dc movie but it was actually an interesting one um it basically revolves around family and he is protecting his family by taking out the bad people and uh, putting a stop to their madness so basically he gets captured and blue beetle does and uh, Jaime Reyes's character, well, Jaime Reyes gets captured, the Blue Beetle, by, uh, basically the Cord Foundation, um, Victoria Cord and her evil misfits, I guess you could say, and they're trying to do an experiment on, on him by attaching his power from the Blue Beetle, the Scarab, to the OMAC, which the OMAC is like a military thing. They're pretty much an evil society, so basically Blue Beetle has to stop them. And, uh, yeah, that's what happens. So, basically, the film was good. Um, the ending was interesting, and the end credit scene was, the first end credit scene was pretty good. The second one, not really much of a credit scene that I would say is my favorite, but it was okay. So, overall, in my opinion, I think Blue Beetle was a good film. Um, would I say my favorite movie of this year? Not really, but I actually enjoyed the story and the plot. 
and it was an interesting DC movie. It actually brought hope for me to see that a DC movie did almost pretty well. So, for a score for me, it's better than The Flash, I can tell you that. This movie is so much better than The Flash movie, because I know... I'm going to be honest, the Flash movie was bad. As of looking into it now, I see that um, the Flash movie, Ezra Miller, that movie was a flop, big time. It, it was disappointing, so first score for me, I'm giving Blue Beetle an 8 out of 10. Good film, highly recommend you check this film out to see what you think of it for yourself. So, 8 out of 10 for Blue Beetle, the 2023 film. Thank you guys for watching this movie review today.